Today, we'll be taking you through how you can use Robotics Weld to rapidly develop a quality welding program in minutes. If you wish to follow along on your own device, make sure to download the Robotics trial software and the files listed on screen now, which are linked beside this video. When you first load up Robotics Weld, we'll need to import the ur 10 example cell through the application's preferences. We can do this by adding the work cell file into our library here. Let's now return to the home screen and create a new project, selecting our recently imported cell. With our project created, we'll be loaded into the Robotics World workspace, where we can next import the small sample assembly from the project files you downloaded earlier using the import part function. To finalize the part, we'll need to reorient it to be upright by using the transform slash rotate tool from the context menu while our part is selected. First, we'll have to ensure that the move option is selected. Then we only need to rotate our part 90 degrees in respect to R, then 90 degrees in respect to P. With our assembly now upright on the table, we'll go ahead and click OK to set this position. To fix our part to the table, we'll be using two clamps positioned towards the front of the part. Let's go ahead and import these from the downloaded project parts. Then, we'll go ahead and position them by once again opening the translate slash rotate options. First, we'll rotate it 90 degrees in respect to R, then one final time, 90 degrees in respect to P. To finalize these clamps as fixtures, we'll need to configure the parts as non-weldable. We'll do this by selecting our clamps, then, in the details pane in the bottom left, deselecting the weldable checkbox. Now you can see our clamps have greyed out, and while considered in the motion planning, won't have any welds generated. With our assembly finalised and ready, we can go ahead and move on to identifying all the welds needed to weld our assembly. We'll do this by using the Identify Welds button located in the upper ribbon. Here, you can automate the identification of welds for any assembly you import into Vobotics. Using the options on the left, we can specify the limits each weld must follow. If your part is greyed out like this, and not having any welds identified, simply click on each of the assembly's parts that are greyed out to enable them for weld identification. For our part, we want to apply the following values to each option, shown on screen now. Now, we should have 20 welds identified and ready to be planned, which we'll add to our project by using the Create button in the bottom right. With our welds identified, we can start the automated planning process. Using the Plan Welds function located in the top ribbon, we can go ahead and begin to plan this. First, we'll set our planning attempts to five. Then, we can start the Weld Planning function. Instantly, Vobotics will start rapidly planning all of our welds. Within less than a minute, you should have a completed weld program. If we go ahead and exit the function once it completes, then navigate to the program widget on the left, we can see the various motions and steps that have been created by our program. Using the player located on the bottom of the viewer, we can even simulate this program right from within Robotics World. The final step remaining is to generate the code. Once you've acquired a Robotics license for this, this is as simple as selecting the Generate Program button in the ribbon, then either saving to a drive to be plugged into your robot, or transferring directly to a connected robot ready to be used immediately. And that is a fully prepared welding program in mere minutes. You can now generate ready to run URP or UR script program and send it straight to your robot. Make sure to visit our website for more details.